Hey everyone, in this FIFA 23 bronze pack method video, I'm gonna show you how to make money using the bronze pack method. So this has been done in FIFA 23, 22, 21, and many more. Um, it works like this, you're in Ultimate Team, you go over to Store, and then when you're inside there, you wanna go down to Classic Packs. And the bronze pack is here, the premium bronze pack. And you can see it says that you get 12 items, three rares. So if we go to buy it down the bottom left-hand side, you should see the buttons for your platform. For me on the Xbox, it's X. That's going to be uh, square on the PlayStation. And 750 coins is what I need for doing this method. So we do that and we say yes. Now, the objective here is to make more from the bronze pack than it costs us to buy it. And we do that by transfer listing some of the stuff that we get here. So we get a little thing here showing what player we've got. And if we press A to skip there, uh, we will see what we got in the pack. So we get a bunch of typically four players or sometimes three players and a manager, a bunch of player contracts, manager contracts, and then we get some badges here, TIFO and sports. Uh, you know some possible other things in here so what I suggest you do here is with your players list them like so so we go over to the first one and it says X list on transfer market down the bottom that would be square on the PlayStation change your buy it now I suggest you go for 250 initially you can change the starting price if you want to be a bit more protective and your duration you want to set this to three hours or more in my opinion so hit list on transfer market and that will leave it up there I'm just going to turn my camera off just so you can see a bit clearer what's going on now. So you can see we've got some other stuff here. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing here. And the way I'm skipping the buyout now, right the way down to the most basic, is by hitting the left trigger. That would be L2 on the PlayStation. So once I've done that, I can go to the duration and change that for longer if I want. And if I want to be a little more, um, you know, I want a bit more money for this, I'm gonna pop it up to 250. I'm also gonna explain in a minute as to why this works. So we'll do this with the other ones as well. And we'll do this one here, list on the transfer market, and we'll do it with the last one as well, list on the transfer market. So you may be thinking, why would anyone want bronze players? And I'm going to explain that in just a tick. Now, the other stuff here, this stuff doesn't tend to be set um, worth that much. Um, this one might be slightly, but frankly, there are better player contracts that people will buy. So I tend to sell these um, because you've got a limit of how many you can list on your transfers of about 100 players uh, or 100 things. So um, that's why I tend to do them. However, I will tend to have a little look at what we get here in case these look of interest to people. So this Bradford City badge may be of interest to somebody who is a fan of Bradford City. So I'm going to list that one uh, and I'm going to list that slightly higher because I figure if it's somebody who's a big fan of Bradford City they're probably happy to spend a bit more for it. I could check whether there's anyone listing it. There's nothing on there at the minute so maybe I could be cheeky and say I want 450 for it and list it there. Okay it may not sell and if it doesn't I can always quick sell it afterwards. You've got the same thing here Istanbul Spore. You may go mm, is it worth it or not? So you could hit X here have a little look, uh, compare price, and you can see there's a few people got these listed, but you can see 200 is the buy it now. So it's probably not gonna sell for that much. So I could just say, do you know what? I'm gonna quick sell that. Um, the ball here, we could have a little look and see whether that's of interest, and you could debate whether that's worthwhile. But in this case, I'm just gonna quick sell these ones. So left trigger, that would be L2 on the PlayStation to quick sell, and I will make 106 coins here. Um, so we will do that and confirm the items quick sell. So that means I need to make um, some money back on the other items that I listed. Um, so you're looking to make more than 750, but one thing to point out is there is also a commission fee on transfers. I think it's 5%. So you're gonna get 5% on top of the 750 to make it all worth your while. So we're looking at about, let's say 820 coins at least to be in a profit. Uh, but if you remember my four players I listed at 250 each, would be, which would be a thousand, plus I made a hundred coins for the quick sold items that I've got. So I am gonna make a profit if I manage to sell all of those players. So if we hit back now, and let's go and see what's happening. So I've got a few of these packs now listed. And if we look in the transfer section, I've already sold three from um, where I've just been doing these the past few minutes. But I've got a few also still up for listings here. So you can see I sold one at 250, 250, and 250. All happy days. So I've made some money there. Um, so this is obviously going to take time. Um, and not everything is going to sell the first time you do it. So you can see these guys have been listed for about 25 minutes, still haven't find about, found a buyer for them. And you may find that some of them take a while to sell. So it's not an instant return that you're gonna get on this. It can take time. So the best time to list these is you know, at peak playing times, like at the weekends or evenings, uh, to make sure people get them uh, nice and quick and um, for reasonable cash as well. 
So if we come back out of here, if we have a little look, I'll show you why people buy these. So if we go back out here, it's to do with squad building challenges. And when we look in squad building challenges, if we flick over to things like basic, um, you'll see things like the foundations once if we drill into here, um, there's little challenges where it says exchange a bronze player from your pack for a bronze reward pack, same nationality for a bronze pack, exchange a squad here and there and whatever. And basically on the right hand side, it says you can use common players uh, for some of these challenges. And if that's the case, uh, people want to fulfill the challenge with as cheap as possible. So they look for bronze players to fill up uh, when they're doing the squad building challenges. And they will typically search on the transfer market. And that's why people buy your bronze players. There's also sometimes objectives and challenges where you can uh, you know, do games with just a bronze team and people will look for bronze players there and that's why they buy them. Um, that's it, my friends. That's how it works. Uh, let's just see if anything else has sold while we've been talking. Indeed, it has. There's another one there. So you can see the transfer list. And that one uh, we sold for 200. So that was a typical player where I'd listed them a little bit cheaper, but it still works uh, even if you list them at 200. So what I would do with these other ones um, where I've listed them a little bit higher if they don't sell. <laughs> that one was, was a bit of a mistake there. Um, and actually, that's a good point. If you do accidentally make a mistake like that, where the buy it now is ridiculous, uh, when you relist them later, you want to adjust that, but you can't relist them when they're, once they're already listed. If so, if you make an error, it's tough. You've got to wait until they come back uh, when their transfer expires. But all of these other ones, if they don't sell, um, that's what I would do. I'd then drop them down to 200. And if they still don't sell, uh, and I want to get rid of them, I could just quick sell them for a smaller amount of money. Um, so that's it, my friends. I hope that was useful to you. If it was, thumbs up, please. Much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. And let me know your best tips for making money in FIFA 23. It's not that easy, uh, to, particularly when you've not got a lot of funds to start out. But hopefully this helps you. I hope it does. Thanks so much for watching.